prophetic word and yeah. also people's expectations of the prophetic word yeah now you guys might be wondering what are we talking about here you know but um one one thing that fights believers a lot is the manifestation of our prophetic word mm -hmm. you know in terms of um if he delays what are people going to say what am i going to say you yeah. know uh, what do I think about God? What is God saying when there is delay? So that's why we call it me versus my prophetic word and also mm -hmm. people's expectations because all those things play a part. So mm -hmm. before I even uh, continue just to ask my, 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 my partner here another question, I'm just going to ask him also, you know, what, 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 what does he see? What does he understand by, you know, prophetic word manifesting? So a prophetic manifest is basically um what God is saying concerning you, concerning your destiny, concerning your journey. Mm. Um, that's your destination for life, basically, before it actually happens. Yeah. Um, it can also be uh, regarding, it's not, it's not always future-based, but it could also mm. be um, re unveiling the unknown in regards to things that happened in the past. So, for example, if you're at a stage in life where you're standing and things don't seem to be working out, the way you expect it to and you're unsure as to why it's happening like that. Um, the prophetic words can be released in order to help you understand things that you necessarily didn't have access to. Uh, information and knowledge being released to you that mm -hmm. you necessarily didn't particularly know. But it's always connected to your future. So your past, if your past is revealed to you, it's always in order to help you to get to your actual final destination. So if your past is revealed to you, then it's because um, there's certain things that happen in the past that's hindering you from mm. actually getting to where you're supposed to get to. Mm. So it's basically God's voice. Mm. Um, I always see it as a warrant for you to go out and um, exercise your rights, mm -hmm. um, exercise your rights uh, with authority, with authority. So that's the way I see uh, the. Okay, I love that scripture in Isaiah 55, 10 and 11. It says that um, for the rain, is it, is it, uh, the, the way the, the rain comes down. And the snow also comes down from heaven, mm -hmm. you know, and does not return without, you know, watering the earth. Yeah. So that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Yeah. Now, 11, he said that so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mm -hmm. mouth. God speaking him, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. Yeah. It shall not return unto me void. Yes. But it shall accomplish that which I please. Yeah. So in other words, when God speaks, that's a compared to the, you know, to the, to the rain. And the snow, when the, if the rain comes down, he has to do his job. Yeah. When the snow comes down, he has to do his job. Yeah. So, he's, 
So what God is trying to tell you is that His word is, is basically it's a sure word when I speak. Yeah. Like you said, it's a word for us to act. Mm-hmm. So that word has to come and locate us. He says, it shall accomplish that which I please. Because why would it make sense to go to speak something that returns to him? And he says what? Well, it shall prosper to the thing where I sent it. Yeah. It shall prosper where I sent it. Now, we're talking about me versus me versus my prophetic world versus people's expectation. Now, what happens then when that prophecy gets delayed and then we get frustrated? There's a reason why I'm asking you that because I'm going to come to a couple of points afterwards. Yeah. So, first of all, what happens then? when that prophetic word gets delayed and how also should we understand that listen at times here yeah, a prophetic word will get delayed because of you know sometimes maybe your lack of understanding at the time you know the enemy attacks so many things circumstances but the word has already been released so how, how do you what do we do then when a prophetic word gets delayed before I come to my other points um well in terms of prophetic word getting delayed it could be based on the fact that we haven't played our parts the way that we're supposed to have played it. So, um, like I'm saying, if you're given the authority and you're authorized to go and execute a certain job, based on what you do or not do during that time, mm-hmm. can I well, cause a delay or cause some form of stagnation as to when that's supposed to actually manifest? For example, um, God told Abraham that his descendants are going to be in bondage for 400 years. Yeah. And then after 400 years, they're going to be set free and released. Were they set free after 400 years? Mm. No. Mm-hmm. It took just a little bit over mm. 400 years for them to be released. Now, did God lie when he said 400 years? No, no, God's not allowed. So, which basically means at that mark of 400 years, they are authorized to have freedom, to have access. But however, someone needs to do something in order to walk hand in hand with what God has said, in order to agreement. So, there needs to be an agreement. Hence why um, God spoke to Moses yeah. at the burning bush mm-hmm. and said, Look, I've heard the cry of my people. Could the time was there where they are authorized to be free, to be set free. However, a man is required. Yeah. God doesn't do anything on earth unless he does it through a man. Mm-hmm. There's a certain saying that uh, without God, man cannot. Mm-hmm. And without man, God, God will not. not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, the consent of a human being is always required in order for God to do anything. There's nothing that God did from Genesis 1, 26 up until the end of chapter of Revelation chapter 22 there's nothing that God did without mm. the permission mm. of a human being mm. Mm. Yeah. now God is sovereign all powerful omnipotent, omniscient omnipresent so people will say well God will do what he wants anyway mm-hmm. um, no mm. he doesn't always do what he wants mm. um it doesn't please him to see people perish at all. Mm-hmm. But it happens based on law, mm-hmm. based on principles, these things mm-hmm. happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said to Ezekiel, he goes, I swear, as long as I live, I take no pleasure mm-hmm. in seeing people perish, even the wicked. Mm-hmm. He said, as long as I live. So basically, he's showing on himself. So he, he says, I take no pleasure mm-hmm. in seeing people perish. Mm-hmm including the wicked he takes no pleasure why because those people who are acting wicked those are his children created in his image and likeness so he takes no pleasure in seeing that mm-hmm. he takes no pleasure in when he saw satan rebelling because he created satan with a purpose so he takes mm-hmm. no pleasure in that he's he's a real person with emotions mm-hmm. i asked myself a question the other day does god get stressed i believe he does mm-hmm. Does he feel pain? Yes. Oh yeah, of course, of course. He of feels course. all of that. If he feels everything. So we have this impression that um, he doesn't feel any feeling, nothing moves, and nothing phases him because he's got no, he's a real person with mm-hmm. real feelings, mm-hmm. real mm-hmm. emotions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with real emotions. So yeah, to come back to what you're saying, yes, it took just over four hundred years for the children of Israel to be set free from. Egypt, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Daniel prayed 
in regards to the manifestation of um, his people being set free out of captivity from Babylon. Mm. The time had come, um, but nothing had happened. So he had to pray concerning what was written by Jeremiah. He had to pray. It didn't just happen, he had to pray. So someone yeah. has to stand in the gap. Yeah, Something has to be done. Yeah, God's prayed this part by releasing the one that said, this will happen. Yeah. And he always wants someone to work with him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send the Messiah. Mm. Yeah. The seed of the woman. Mm -hmm. I will send the seed of the woman. Mm -hmm. He will crush your head. And you will bruise his heel. I will put mm -hmm. enmity between you and the seed of the woman. Mm. However, permission was needed from a human being. A human being called Mary. Mm -hmm. Gabriel came. Mary, bless on you, this is what's going to happen. Mm. He spoke. And Mary said, you know what? Mm. Let it be unto you, as you said. Yeah. Yeah. She authorized it, and only then could mm. it happen. Mm -hmm. The prophecy was fulfilled. So, if Mary said no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Someone else will have to be found. Yeah. God will find someone else. Yeah. 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 God says, my purpose will mm -hmm. stand. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I will do as I please. Mm. My purpose will stand. Mm. And we've got to think now of what's God's purpose. Mm. There's God's purpose and then there's now how human beings mm -hmm. are used in line mm. to fulfill God's purpose. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Yeah. There's God's purpose and then there's his plan in terms of how he uses us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a prophetic word is released. You now need to find a way to see how it connects. To the universal purpose of God, yeah, because it's always corporate, yeah, it's never individual, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. What the individual does is in aid of the whole body of Christ, mm. the whole move of God. That's why when the disciples ask Jesus, Teach us how to pray, how John told his disciples, mm. yeah, he didn't say, Okay, when you go in, say, mm. My God, mm. my Father, mm. me, no, he said, Our. Yeah. So God's purpose always includes everyone. Yeah. 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 Our Father who's in heaven. Glorify, yeah. glory be your name. Let your kingdom come. Let the, mm -hmm. let the governing influence of your kingdom come and let your will be done on mm -hmm. earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let your influence come and let it be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Give us, us, us today our. No, not give me. Give us today our daily bread. So, okay, what do we need as a community? What do we need as a family? What do we need as a city? What do we need as a borough? What do we need as a nation? So once you get that download, God tells you what to do, mm -hmm. not for you, for the mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. for the community, mm -hmm. for the borough, mm -hmm. for the city, for the nation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's always about God's big plan. Yeah. So, when you receive a word, okay, uh, you are going to be a millionaire and you just start thinking, me, 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 me. And you start making plans for just me, 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 mm -hmm. me, 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 myself and I. You mm -hmm. can get delayed because yeah. indirectly, mm -hmm. you can start to drift mm -hmm. outside of yeah. the will of God. And yeah, it can sure. start to get delayed. We say, well, mm -hmm. God said this concerning me. Yes, he did say it, mm -hmm. but what are you focusing on? Mm -hmm. Are you just focusing on self or the bigger picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was there yeah. a prophecy regarding Jesus? Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. He came and he fulfilled it. Why? Thinking of himself? No. About the bigger picture. God's real. Okay, I need to go to this place mm -hmm. so that humanity can be saved. So that the Holy Spirit can come back in, dwell in men. So that they can take back their position as sons of God. So that the governing influence of heaven can actually come. And so that they can distribute it and impact it and go through all corners of the world, preach this gospel. As a testimony talk about it and demonstrate it in order for that to happen this is what I need to do mm -hmm. I need to pay this price I need to go on that cross share my blood pay the debts that Adam caused mm. get them out of captivity take away the keys of Hades and um, death strip Satan away from them so that he no longer has legal rights over them go and set the right hand of my father mm. let them let the church be built, let mm -hmm. the church expand, let this gospel be preached everywhere. Once that's done, then I can come back a second time and establish what I need to establish for a thousand years. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
it's always the bigger picture yeah, yeah. yeah. the bigger plan it's like having a business plan for yourself yeah it's mm -hmm. bigger than just you so what's the actual plan mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm. i'm going to do this why what is your outcome what's your objective okay how did you identify the need for mm -hmm. this yeah how do you plan on doing that what's the method that you're going to use what's your vision statement what's your mission statement once you have all of that put together and then you start walking so that's the same approach that we need to have with the prophetic word okay yeah. what's this word for is it just about me no mm -hmm. never mm -hmm. it's never just about you mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. imagine god thinking just about himself mm -hmm. would he waste his time with and his children mm -hmm. why would he not say you know yeah, what yeah. let me just um mm -hmm. cancel them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let me just cancel them now let me not send them to earth anymore mm -hmm. Because they're going to cause havoc. Let me not do that. Then. No, yeah. but he does it. It's not just about himself. He is love, so he shares. It's about giving. The culture is love. Mm. Yeah. So with the prophetic word, is always, it's always about seeing the bigger picture. See yourself as a tool, as a plan in God's mm. big purpose for humanity. Mm. So delay can happen when we start, uh, mm. when, the folk, when we start prioritizing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're good. I mean, yeah. Um... It's just some good stuff there, you know, uh, and I think also one thing we've got to understand um, when the, the, there's obviously different types of, there's personal prophecies, which there's always a bigger picture also, yeah. but there are also prophecies where it's going to involve others immediately. Mm -hmm. For example, you know, somebody might get a prophecy that, okay, then um, you're going to get some, God, God, is, God is setting up some people to come and be a blessing to you, you know, within uh, such a such season, you know. And then after this is well, during that season, you might be like, well, God, who are those people? Who are those people? They were coming, but the word is still coming to pass. But you have to understand that once the enemy also knows, he's on red alert also. Let's say, it, it, the, the example I've taken, about when it involves somebody else now coming to be a blessing into your life, the enemy will do all he can to put obstacles there. Yeah. So, but it doesn't mean that you should, uh, you, you should, you should give up when there's delay, because he has to come and cause, and cause delays or whatever, but, yeah. that, but, but that's his plan. To cause that frustration, yeah. to make you look like as if it is not coming, yeah. and that's where you know Isaiah fifty-five eight, the same Isaiah chapter fifty-five, when he was speaking, he says, "Well, my thoughts are not your thoughts, mm -hmm. neither are your ways my ways." Mm -hmm. And th these are always things to go back to. These are always words to go back to whenever we feel as if, whenever we experience delays. He says, "My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways your ways." Yeah. You know, so he has sent the word already. He has mm -hmm. sent his word. Yes. For the fact that the enemy is going to fight the world, the usual so that you have to wage war with that with that world. Yeah. You have to. You, you, you definitely have to because, hey, he, he ain't going to come like that. I mean, when, even when Jesus was born, he was fought. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. They wanted to find out, hey, okay, who, where, where? Okay, all the children under two, kill them all. Mm -hmm. Because this man cannot grow. Mm -hmm. That prophecy cannot be fulfilled. So you have to understand that. Yeah. I saw it for you. Yeah, all yeah. that train of thought. And I like the fact that you said that, and this is what people need to understand. Mm. That once you have a prophetic word, mm. you can just go on holiday, mm -hmm. drink your long island iced tea and say yes, God mm -hmm. has done it. Absolutely not. The mm -hmm. moment you receive your prophetic word, it's time for war. Mm. Okay. Put on your armor, helmet, mm -hmm. breastplate, mm -hmm. belt, mm. the right footwear, your shield mm. and your sword. Mm. And then pay attention, be alert. Do not think that your opposition doesn't hear the prophetic word. Mm -hmm, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The prophetic word is loud in the mm -hmm. spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. Loud. It's amplified in the spiritual realm. It comes from which heaven? The third. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Before it gets to the first, it has to go through the mm -hmm, second. Mm -hmm. yeah? It goes through the second. They hear that. So what do you think they do? Relax? Mm. No. They mobilize and they get together. Yeah, mm. yeah. How did Pharaoh know that at that particular time that he's supposed to kill children from the age two and under? How? Mm. They understand times and seasons. They know that, okay, you know what? A deliverer mm. is about to come. He's mm. around this age group. Mm. As well as which male child it is. No, why, mm. why not female? Mm. Oh, you mean Herod? Yeah. yeah. Mm. No, no, I'm talking about Pharaoh. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Why, why not mm. kill? The, why not kill the Hebrews? Period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just the such a threat. Why not just kill all? Yeah, yeah. Wait for yeah. the, for the male, yeah. Yeah. Why the male child in particular? Why not female? Why not mm. male and female? Why specifically the male, mm. the male child? Why not from age five and under, but specifically from age two and under? Why? Because they understand times and seasons. 
they understand that it's going to be a male. How do they know that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pharaoh, how did Pharaoh know that? By himself? No. You can't get that information by yourself as just as a regular human being. No mm -hmm, way. Mm -hmm. You must. He must have gotten assistance mm -hmm. from another realm. Yeah, of course. Let's be course, honest. Of course. I mean, yeah. those, those guys are pure yeah. values, man. They're, they're, yeah. <laughs> they're and, the best of the best in witchcraft. And uh, King Herod. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why made him decide that at that particular time, okay, male children, why not female children, male children mm -hmm. from the age of two and under mm -hmm. be killed? Mm -hmm. Where did he get that information, that inspiration mm -hmm. from? Mm -hmm. From where? Mm -hmm. Not by himself. Mm -hmm. He definitely got assistance. Mm. from another realm mm. so please when a prophetic word is released it's time for war yes it's exciting to hear what God has planned for you absolutely oh, yeah. and understand oh, yeah. it oh, yeah. Yeah. but let's not get so excited that we 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 forget what we're supposed to prioritize mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. it's like signing a contract for a new business for a record deal you're going to be famous, you're going to be a millionaire, you get all excited. Where's the contract? Let me put the contract you mm. sign straight away without reading everything, without getting a, hiring a lawyer to read it for you, to help you mm. understand it, mm. to read the blueprints. People have done that and then before they know it, they're no longer happy in their contract. Why? Oh, mm. it's not how, they, it's not what they thought it was going to be. Yeah. They're not making as much money as they thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of them end up being broke. Mm. No, for Some real. of them feel like, oh, um, I'm being extorted, or they're mm -hmm. capitalizing off of me, off of my talent. No, you didn't read your contract. Mm -hmm. You didn't do your homework. When you get prophetic word, do your homework. That's okay, now that I have this, what do I do? Mm -hmm. Ask for instructions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ask for because it's, it's new to you. Yeah. It's like getting a new invention. Mm -hmm. You've been told how great it is, yes. You've been told what it's going to help you do, yes. Mm -hmm. But how do you use it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you protect yeah. it above yeah. all things? How do you yeah. protect it? How do you preserve mm -hmm. it? That's, that's so true. That mm. is so true. Mm. When a woman's pregnant mm. and she gets that test, yes, I'm pregnant. She sees the future, I'm going to be a mom. Mm -hmm. Now for the next nine months, there are specific things that I need to do. There's a certain way that I need to eat, yeah. that I need to drink. Certain types of exercises and actions I can't be doing anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have to live with myself, restrict myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The words yeah. that I listen to, the things that I speak, because it's not just affecting me, it's affecting mm -hmm. what I'm carrying inside mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't just drink anything, I can't just take in everything. I can't just allow myself to be stressed all the time because that baby, that child that's in me, is also going to take that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the same thing with the prophetic word. It's the same thing yeah. with that. So you yeah. need to really watch and mind mm -hmm. how you carry yourself mm -hmm. until you get there. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. not over. Until it's over. Mm -hmm. Until you see it manifest. Yeah, until you, you see it manifest. It's, ju it's, ju it's just that. You out. see something, okay, yeah. I prayed once and yeah. But no, it hasn't yeah. happened yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It hasn't happened yet. Jesus did not go back up to heaven until he went across, died, mm -hmm. and rose on the third day, and then he went. Mm -hmm. He didn't skip Calvary. Mm -hmm. Even though he asked you, he didn't skip it. Mm -hmm. He went through it. So I still be manifest this two realms, the spiritual realm mm. and this, the earth realm. Yeah. Yeah. It has to manifest. Mm -hmm. It has to happen. Once it's happened, then you have a testimony. Mm How -hmm. can you have a testimony when it hasn't happened yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God I believe God has done it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's okay to say that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of Where's the evidence? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah if, if, if you're gonna speak ahead then make sure that you carry the manifestation, you know, in the physical. It has to manifest in the physical because as far as God has spoken, it, he sees the complete picture already. That's why, you know, the, when he releases the word for misery into our earthly realm here, it's for it to be manifested, it's not for yeah. us to admire and look at it. And, and it's so fun to use the example of a pregnant woman as well. And uh, this is where I've come to also that people's expectations. I think sometimes um, when we hear prophetic word, I mean, that's what sometimes it's not good to tell some people your prophetic word yeah. because you, you, you mentioned a pregnant woman, like when a woman is pregnant, like nobody, nobody questions a woman when she's pregnant and when mm. she does like odd things, like eat cucumber, eat raw onions, or yeah. eat funny, funny stuff. And you're just like, okay, in fact, you, well, uh, the husband even go back and abandon some of the friends. You know what, just yeah. buy it to make you, be, oh, otherwise yeah. she's going to get grumpy because yeah. she's going through that, that stage. You, know, you eat your raw onions, you eat, you know, in Africa they have this white stone that they eat this chalk. Why do you eat that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Others, they don't just, they don't touch meat, you know, nobody questions, nobody goes in with or whatever, because why? They, you know, it's, 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 a, 
it's a craving that has been developed because of what they are carrying. Mm -hmm. So they're acting how they would they normally wouldn't be acting. But once that baby is born, what raw onions, man, put this out of put this out of the way. Mm -hmm. Now, when we go to world the prophetic world, God my cause us to my, my tell us that listen, you need to separate from this environment yeah. or don't talk too much to these kind of people. Yeah. But this is your people's expectations now, people's opinions. Some are going to call you weird, especially if you made a mistake of telling everybody or maybe if it's, if it's been revealed to you in public, let's say yeah. in a church setting or whatever, online or whatever. you would be like, okay, do you know what? I don't, mm, at this time, no, I, I want to be praying at this time or I want to be reading my word at this time yeah. or I want to be going to walk to, to, pray, you know, to pray at this time. But then, Okay, one week, two, three, four weeks, blah, 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 six weeks. Ah, Patrick, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing now? I've, why are you not going to pray at midnight? Why are you walking around your, 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 your community at midnight? What's wrong with you? You know, like, okay, we know God has spoken to me. That's me, you have to go crazy, you know. <laughs> These are Christians who said it. Everybody yeah. experienced it. I've experienced it, you know. Mm -hmm. But like I said, no, we don't question a pregnant woman when she acts, at, you know, when she acts abnormal mm -hmm. by eating funny, funny stuff. It's the same with the prophetic world. We are pregnant with something now. So that's going to cause us to do things that are abnormal, you know, but we are doing these things to bring the world into manifestation. Yeah. They, these are the things. And this is where we allow people's opinion or expectations to kind of um, hinder us as well. So we can be our own uh, enemies as well by allowing too many people to speak into our life. Just mm -hmm. like a pregnant lady, you're not going to lie everybody, you know. How come some pregnant woman, they be like, I'm not going to put no pictures on Facebook. We don't say, oh, it's weird. Some say, okay, I only do it once and then after. But we don't call them wait for that. That is their choice. Yeah. Because that's the truth. They choose to protect their peace. You don't say, ah, you. You don't have faith or whatever. That is them. So it's the same thing with the prophetic word as well. So you have to do what it takes to, to protect it. But yeah. we allow. And this is how we, we, we fail. Because you allow even believers like us to tell us that, no, 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 no. no. You need to calm down. Mm. If God has spoken, it will come to pass. Okay, or maybe it's not for now. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's for two years, and then we kind of, we kind of like give up now, because a prophetic word it never makes sense to the natural ear. It never makes sense. Yeah. Because God, He cannot prophesy to you. You, 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 you use Mary. You know, you use Mary. Mary was like, ah, 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 ah how can this be? When she told the angel to Gabriel, how can this be? I'm gonna give birth to a child. Like, hello. This is what the Holy Ghost will come upon you. Yeah. And then you also, uh, you know, and it's mentioned all with even your cousin Elizabeth, she's already yeah. <laughs> pregnant to, you know, already pregnant to John. So the prophetic word it, it, it is not if it's supposed to make sense, then you know it everybody would just, you know, it, it would be a normal thing. But it's not supposed to make sense because you look at your, your situation, no, that that ain't me. Mm -hmm. I can't own a house in two years' time. Like I'm in debt, I've got bills. I, I can't get married to, you know, this person, like, no, like, I'm still healing from being, you know, the, uh, raped or sexually abused, or I'm still healing from this breakup, I can't, but God is saying, hey, this, this, this is what I've got for you. Yeah. But then you take it, you wait to your current situation, and then you, you show it to other people as well around you. They'll be like, ah, as for this perfect word, no, 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 no. Did you have that dream really? Mm -hmm. Did you have that dream really? Or if it's a man of God that says it, ah, maybe the man will be trying to make you happy, you know. And this is that. These are some of the ways in which we we kind of hinder ourselves. But could this be, could it be also again back to the example of the pregnant lady, you pregnant woman? Sorry, you, you said that um, a prophet you were before. They said that you know is 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 not just us; it's generational as well because yeah. it, it's bigger than that. So should we treat the prophet you were then like a? A woman, a woman that has a child, and and if yeah, if you don't follow through with the word, you choose to ignore the word. Is it then like why? Okay, is this why? Um, he, like it hurts God, you know, like when the enemy influences a woman to do abortion, or or even when the, like or when a woman like unfortunately she has like a miscarriage, miscarriage is abortion. Both you know, but but you know obviously. Uh, terrible things to happen to, to, to a woman, you know, because even some women when they have, when they, even when they're determined to do an abortion, obviously they don't need a demonic influence, but even when they are determined, they know it's the right decision, after, afterwards, they, 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 they never ever forget it, mm -hmm. you know, even someone that's a miscarriage also, unfortunately, they, they, they even think of the pain, because that child has so much attached, so it's a nation, you know, they, they, there's, a, his, there's a destiny attached to that child, mm -hmm. so is, is this how we should, we should see a prophetic word, if we don't manifest it? Because there's something attached to that word as well. And I, and, and I think it's a good point you say because a lot of the time 
we, we make it by ourselves. Yeah. And that's why when it, it delays, we give up. Oh, God will do it again. Yeah. But I think, you know, it, it's actually true what you say. It is more than us because that word is a seed that has to get my... That, that's what God said. It will accomplish which, that which I please. Yeah. That, oh, okay, so that's what you said, my thoughts are not your thoughts, they're my ways your way. Yeah, yeah, it's because when it just, releases it. Just as heaven is higher mm, than mm, the earth, mm, so are my thoughts mm, higher than your thoughts. Mm, yeah. In heaven, this is what we're thinking about. Mm, this is the plan that we have in heaven. Mm, yeah. But on earth, you're limited in terms of what you can see. Mm, yeah. So the thoughts up here are higher than there. Mm -hmm. I live here, so my thoughts are higher than yours. Mm. You know in parts, you prophesy in parts. Mm. I know in totality. Mm. I'm Alpha and Omega. Mm -hmm. yeah. My thoughts are high, my ways are different. Yeah. You only understand what you know now. Mm. Mm. You don't understand or know what you're going to go through. You don't understand or know how you're going to get there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm Alpha and Omega, I am there. Mm. I am in the middle and I am in your past. Mm. Yeah. So that's why it's in your best interest to trust me. Mm. Okay. Prophetic word. God created the earth mm. before he formed man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God created the earth before he created mm. man, the mm. spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He created yeah. the earth. Mm. Everything finished then. He said, let us create man. Mm in our image and likeness right. and then let them have dominion. He created the spirit mm. being. Then he formed the man. From what? Mm -hmm. man, yeah. Where did he form man from? Mm. Dust. From the dust, yeah, mm -hmm. from the ground, the earth, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The earth contains your lungs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your kidneys, mm -hmm. That's right. your bones, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your hair, mm -hmm. intestines, mm -hmm. your nerves, Mm -hmm. Your veins, yeah. Eyes, ears. Mm, the the earth, earth contains it. Yeah. yeah. So when God created the earth, mm. He wasn't mm. just thinking about a planet. Mm, 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 mm. He was thinking that the planets contained mm. His children's body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the earth contained mm -hmm. contains the the ground that we see contains mm -hmm. the organs that we have now. Mm, mm. It's in there. Mm, mm vitamins and everything mm -hmm. is in it's that ground so god yeah. put everything in there already yeah. yes sir yeah 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 in there already mm. that's what the state that the earth was in in uh verse two formless mm -hmm. void mm -hmm. darkness mm -hmm. that's why he had to correct it he had to correct it yeah. no 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 yeah yeah my yeah. children's destiny is it's in there, there. Mm. correction okay mm. waters separate dry ground mm. up here Separate mm. from there to there, firm up, bird mm. fly, mm. okay, done, okay. Now, create my children, form them. Mm. That's why when you die, your body goes back to mm. where it That's came from. Return. Yeah. So mm. it contains that. Mm. So your prophetic word contains destinies mm. inside. You're mm. just seeing one thing, mm. yeah? We just see a planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you grasp this mm. in your mind that looking at the ground, Mm. You're looking at someone's kidney, yeah, yeah. someone's lungs, mm. bones, toes, eyes, in that ground. Mm. Yeah. But we're living as far as we can see. That's right. God sees more than that. Mm. E everything about our physical mm. body is in mm. this thing called dirt, earth. Mm. Exactly. I mean, what would it correct yeah. us from that yeah. is just limited, you know? We've got to see the bigger picture, yeah. yeah. So imagine Why that, the earth? if that earth <laughs> gets destroyed, mm. it affects our destiny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trees included mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. come from the, mm -hmm. like everything is in there. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And how is the earth created? Mm -hmm. How is it? What did God create? Mm -hmm. He spoke it. Spoken he spoke word. it. Spoken word. How does God prophesy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He Spoken speaks word. it. So yeah. what does prophecy contain? Mm -hmm. So when God very, said, very DNA of yeah. God. So, so so God said mm -hmm. when He created the earth, I'm, I'm sure you would have said create. He would, he would have spoken it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's not just think that it's limited to that. It's That's about right. what it contains and mm. it's about purpose. So when God said, okay, Herman, mm. I'm going to do this in your life. Mm. Yes, he's going to do that in your life. Mm. But it's not just about you. It's about mm. what that word contains inside That's it. That's the key. This destiny is contained inside That's it. The key. Yeah? So it's about knowing God's 
purpose. Mm. That's when you get that word. It's like, okay, now that I have this, what do I do with this? All I know is what you said, but there's more to it than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All we know is earth, but there's more to it than that. Everything that we see, mm. buildings, everything, mm. skies, mm. Mm. With planes, cars and that, where do they come from? Mm-hmm. 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 Where do they come from? Yeah. From the earth? The earth, the material, the material is, is all it. It's everything. The earth, everything, pyramids, okay. ancient okay. monuments, everything that you can mm-hmm. think of mm-hmm. came from the mm-hmm. earth. Mm-hmm. You dig deep, you find precious stones, diamonds. Different. But when you see them, they're not in their manifested, glorified mm-hmm. state yet. Mm-hmm. Process that you need to go through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. During the time of Moses, I would say this, Moses could have flown an aircraft. He had mm-hmm. all the components mm-hmm. that he needed to make an aircraft. Mm-hmm. But it's just about knowing how to put the components together. Mm-hmm. Look at the rivers in the garden, man. Yeah. Look at the rivers in the garden. They had their own function. You yeah, <laughs> their own function. There was no lack in those rivers, whatever you yeah. wanted. Whatever you yeah. need, everything you needed was. Is in yeah. there. Adam lacked nothing. Mm-hmm. I always say now, I probably mm-hmm. believe that where Adam was 6,000 mm-hmm. years ago, <laughs> Adam was more advanced now mm-hmm. than we are today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. More advanced. Direct communication oh. with God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Direct communication. Yeah. Seeing God in his glory. Adam, you saw God's face. Because mm-hmm. yeah. he was pure, innocent, perfect mm-hmm. in all his way. Mm-hmm. Walked with God. God spoke to him. Yeah. 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 Direct access to heaven in Eden, mm-hmm. in the garden. Mm-hmm. So prophetic word is that. So like abortion mm. is killing off a whole generation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the late great Malcolm Ross said the death of a tree is the death of a forest. Death of a forest, yeah, 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 yeah. Because every seed, what does the seed contain? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let me give you an example. There's a guy called Joseph Jackson. Mm. Is he is he passed away now? I think he's passed away. The Jackson's father. Okay. Is it? No, I think he's alive, you he's know. Alive. He's still alive. Yeah, I don't think he... He's not dead. I think, I think he passed away. Okay, well... Yeah, okay. but not, not big, sure. no big deal was made out of it, because mm. I'm sure he was not on okay. many people's favourite list. Mm. He was married to a woman called Catherine. That was the name, but Michael Jackson's mother. I remember. They got together. They had children. Yeah. Mike was probably... I know, under Mike is... There's Janet, under Mike, there's Randy. I think Mike is the third youngest. Mm. How many of them are? Let's say after after Marlon's Michael. Let's say after Marlon, the mother said, you know what? We've got enough kids, man. This mm. one here, I'm a boy in it. Mm. And they're a boy with Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Janet was influenced by Mike. Mm-hmm, you can mm-hmm. see that. Yeah, of course. Usher Raymond influenced by Mike. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Chris Brown influenced by Mike. Jenny One influenced by Mike, mm-hmm. Missy Elliott influenced by Mike, Ciara influenced by Mike, um, Justin Timberlake mm-hmm. influenced by Michael Jackson, Beyonce influenced by Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So no Mike, so no yeah, them, yeah, yeah, no yeah, influence yeah. on them, no impact. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Heal the World Foundation, the charity, 10 million every year. Mm. The impact that he had on people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just an example. Mm. Michael Jordan, no Michael Jordan, no Kobe Bryant, no LeBron James, no Alan Iverson. So it's about impact, like one, like one individual. Yeah, one like the, if you knew what you carried, if you knew who you were, and you knew what impact you could have, you would take life a lot more seriously. Mm-hmm. Giving up would not be an option. Mm-hmm. Giving up would not be an option. Mm-hmm. 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 You'll thrive, you'll know that, you know what? There's too many people's lives that depend on me succeeding. Mm-hmm. It's about being selfless in the mm. same way that God is selfless. Mm. God is selfless. It's mm. not about Him. What, mm. what, what does God lack? Mm. What does God need? Mm. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But He decides to work to make sure things happen. It's not about Him. So that so when it's our turn to do stuff, it's not about us either. So we're mm. supposed to have the same mindset. That's why it says that we're in His likeness and His mm. image. It's mm. not about us. It's about the bigger picture. Mm. That's what we're to seek him and know, okay, mm. what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Yeah. The anointing that Moses had, the mandate that he had, that he mm. had wasn't mm. for him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was to set the people free. Yeah. It's about the bigger picture. Mm. Get the nation out. Why? Because in that nation, the Messiah was going to come out from there. Mm. So they had to come out of there. They couldn't be in slavery anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They had to go to their land. They had to fight. Break out of that state mentality. Mm. Going to their own land. It took a while because they were constantly in rebellion. 
That's why it delayed. But the Messiah came out from there. And the Messiah had a job to do. He had to go on the cross. He had to die for a specific reason. To legally bring the children back in their, in their position of royalty. Then he could go. Now he could put the Holy Spirit back into them. And breathe into them. Back to how man was designed to be. In the beginning. With the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now they could go out and expand the kingdom. They do it everywhere. Then he come back. It's always about the bigger picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always about the bigger picture. Yeah, so that's yeah. what prophecy is. Prophecy is basically mm -hmm. okay. I'm authorizing you to expand. It's not about you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's not mm -hmm. about you. That's why it can be delayed. So when we say prophecy is delayed, God, why? God, why? God, why? You have to ask yourself: Were you selfish? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you think it was all about you? Mm -hmm. So if you felt, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me say the third one. Do not ever flex your shoulders and say, well, this is what God says about me, so... Mm. No, don't, man. You can mm. fail. You mm. failing doesn't mean that God says, oh, my day... No. Mm. Mm. He will get someone to do it. It's about the bigger picture. It's about God's big plan. Mm. It's about God's big idea. So He will use you to do things that will complement His big plan. If mm. you don't do it, He will find, he will find someone to mm. do it. Mm -hmm. He's not going to fail. Mm -hmm. That's why He says, like, my mm -hmm. word. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah? Oh, yeah. It will accomplish his word. So think about this. His mm. word. What is his word contained? Mm. You think his word is strictly limited to just mm. those uh, um, mm. syllables that he said? No. Yeah, that's right. When he says, that's My right. purpose mm -hmm, mm -hmm. will stand, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's, already, he's there. He's at the finish. Yeah, he's out for an He's, him, he's him, dead. He's so him. when he speaks to us, he's speaking to us from mm -hmm, mm -hmm. our future. Yeah, so he's yeah, there. Yeah. 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 He finishes and then he starts. Mm. My purpose. So he's there. He's not lying. He's there. My purpose was there. Right. That's right. So who wants to be a part of this? Mm. You want to be a part of this? Okay. Many are called, but few are chosen. Okay. I'm mm. choosing you. Come on. Let's do this. Yeah. Come. Yeah. If you fall off, I'm not gonna fall. You have free mm. will. Mm. Someone will come mm. and fulfill it. That's so right. that's yeah. what the prophetic word actually is. Mm. That's what it is, and that's why it delays. That's yeah. why sometimes we use the term it. Mm. It fails. So there's yeah. always a reason. If there's a delay, if it doesn't manifest, there's a reason. There's no like, well, yeah. maybe, no. And I always say mm -hmm. this, maybe does not exist in God's vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no one can say maybe mm -hmm. when it comes to God. Because maybe right. implies not knowing. Mm -hmm. It implies lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. It implies mm -hmm. uncertainty. Mm -hmm. It implies doubt. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. that you will never hear God say maybe. Never. Mm. Never. Never can say so either true. yes or no. So either true. go or stop. Have a speed up or slow down. That is so true, you know. That that is so so true, and and it's so it's so it's so good what it's so good what you just said. Um, you have to understand that. That's why when a pro look when prophecies get manifested, mm -hmm. look at people's reaction. That whoa, ah, only God could have done this. Yeah. When you have thrown the the word through, you know. Mm -hmm. Even when Jesus was on the cross, upon everything, ah, he's fake. What can he save himself? Yeah. After it was all over, one of the soldiers there, he realized that, oh wow, prophecy has been fulfilled. Oh, actually, this is the Son of God. Imagine ah, that. Why? why? <laughs> a pagan. Yeah. yeah. Imagine that. So he, he saw like, prophecy no, from no, the God. The pagan no. said, no, no, you know what? Did. Yeah. This, this, that's why like, this calls the Son of God. Like, what, yeah. what did he know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we need to study that. <laughs> what was it about that yeah. particular? This is the Son Could of it be God. that it was the same centurion? I don't know, I yeah, don't yeah. know. It doesn't say that. Doesn't say that. But I'm just trying to wonder what because I'm just yeah. trying to wonder what was mm. it about that particular so did he, mm. he, he must have read it, he read it, he read it, he read it. He must have yeah, read, read it. He must have read the scripture yeah. for him to be able he to say indeed this is the son of God. Yeah, because it was the atmosphere of hate. Because yeah. they were abusing him, so the atmosphere was hateful towards him. So we must remember why he read because uh oh Whoa! This one this been fulfilled. I I I just become part of prophecy because why why would he say that? Yeah. You know, why would he say that? So you have to understand that when your prophecies get manifested, that's what it's gonna be. And that's why you mentioned about his his word. Yeah. So it's him. Yeah. Remember he said he said my glory I will show you no one. So no. He said, see it's him. Mm. So when that prophetic word grabs you, grabs you, know that you know he's backing you all the way. And when there's delay, that's what I'm gonna also ask you about, you know, the source. Of the prophecy sometimes as in the environment uh, i'm gonna ask you that like in, in a couple of seconds you know so that's why you, you have to understand that his word comes with backing oh yeah his word comes with provision yeah and when you do experience delays remember your character counts as well so maybe yeah. sometimes you know it, it, will, it, it will mature you 
just to handle the process. Or sometimes, you know what? You said, you know what? Let it delay on purpose, but it will come to pass because yeah. I, I'm developing something in you. Because yeah, when that professional process. gets developed, yeah. you will lose it mm -hmm. if you are still that arrogant person. You will lose it if you are still rude. You will lose it if you are still, you know, uh, you, you don't know how to handle money and then a big financial breath is coming your way or a job if, if that will pay you well. But if you're not financially disciplined, so you will lose, you will get excited and you'll be like, well, God has blessed me anyway. It's perfect your word has come to pass, but you, you risk losing it. And God is not somebody that, you know, he wants to say, you know, he, 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 listen, God ain't going to allow his world to be embarrassed. He's not going to allow that. Yeah. So, however long it takes you, he, he, he will process you. You talk about the damn man, God, when he sees it, he's not you know, in his form state yet. You know, so the, the process has to go through. Oh, you found the diamond. The perfect world has been released now. The individual now, you know, that's going, that, that, that's going to use the, the, the perfect world. The, the individual that's going to carry the perfect world. You have to go through the refining process. You have to. So that when you go through the refining process, other prophecies will just come to you like that because God knows that, okay, you handle it. Until, mm -hmm. until you know, you get to level work and then there's another mega, mega breakthrough. So I need to refine you again mm -hmm. to handle that next level. We have to be prepared for that because every time a professional gets manifested, people always give God glory. Why? Because it doesn't make sense when it gets released. When Jesus was born, it did not make sense. How mm -hmm. can a virgin have, you know, it, 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 it don't make sense. Mm -hmm. do, do, do you know what I mean? You know, look, look at, I mean, look at how Job got restored when he lost everything. It was God's perfect way. It did not make sense. Everybody had given up. Job, you're gonna you're gonna get nothing. It's impossible, you know. So whenever God speaks, be be sure that it's gonna get manifested. It's yeah. gonna it's gonna split the sea, you know. That, that didn't make sense. But guess what? They have to they have to obey, listen. They have no choice. It's either you 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 don't listen or you stay there and then they're coming to kill you. They're chasing you. Yeah. So they have to obey. They have to see in full manifestation. Now, the source as well. Obviously. Now, I'm not, I'm not talking about some professionals that are given to us directly in our dreams or revelation or visions. Now, I'm talking about if it's given in another environment, you know, let's say in a church environment, whether you visit a church or what's the release, or you're part of a church where there's prophecy, you know, prophetic, or you, you receive a prophecy anyway in a church. Now, in, 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 in some churches, not, not all of them, by the way, huh? In, in, in some churches, you know, they are, they are unfortunately, <laughs> you know, there are guys that call themselves seasoned prophets, <laughs> but unfortunately they are not seasoned like the way they, like the way they claim to be. Yeah. Because they give you a word and then boom, they go. Yeah. They, they, even though they, they could be, they, 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 they're a pastor, I'm talking about against pastors. That one is even worse, some of them anyway. <laughs> we get to that later. But I'm talking about, you know, your own, your own uh, head. You, you receive a word and then that's it, you know, go. And then sometimes when you go back to them, for example, oh, how come this isn't manifested? You, well, maybe you need to sow a seed for that, boom, and then that's it. But you, 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 they will not, what I'm trying to say is that they will not care for the word to be manifested in your life. And we have seen it. We have seen many vict victims of that. People that have been prophesied 10, 20, 30 things, but they've seen that three, four years, not even one of them has manifested. And that can cause people to give up. Yeah. Other guest pastors will even come. Oh, this is going to happen to you. Oh, woo, confirmation, confirmation. Okay. But then the manifestation is not there. And now, this I'm going to ask you, you know, if you don't see the manifestation, is it, your, is it your right then to go back to the souls that give you the manifestation? Yeah, yeah. Especially, right. yeah, the mouthpiece that give you the manifestation. Because some of them, They'll be like, no, no, well, like they, they'll make the environment as if you cannot question them. And that's why a lot of people, they are, they are intimidated to go and ask for a follow-up. Mm -hmm. Even though you release the word. So if you release the word, then you have to follow up. You have to make sure that the one under you follows up the word. Yeah. You know, but, yeah. but, but, but I don't know if you agree with me, but I've seen a lot where you've been in that kind of environment anyway. <laughs> where people have been scared to even go back yeah. and ask for... Why, why has the word not manifested? Yeah. Because they think that they're going to be insulted mm -hmm. because they're going to see that as disrespect yeah. to them. That why how dare you ask me? So therefore, I've released the word and that's it. Now, what, what are your views on that? And how should people deal with, with that rather than let it get them down? Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes it's all you know. But how do I come out of that? Mm -hmm. The person that gave me the word, he keeps on giving me words, but they don't manifest. Mm -hmm. And he has made himself basically an oppression when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. Like you don't challenge because I, I received a prophetic word. Then they will tell you, can you say like I see? No. 
Oh, okay, I gave you the rose. What do you want then? If you can't see like I see, what do you want? I'll give you the rose. What are you doing about it? Yeah. Okay, there's a certain lady um, who'd have had a child. Um, she heard that a prophet was coming in town. Mm. And uh, she made provision for the prophet to stay. And the prophet said that a year from now, you're going to have a child. Mm. She had a child, a male child. At the word of the prophet, mm. you gave birth. Mm. But then it came to a point where the child died. Mm. Mm. Um, she didn't say anything to her husband. Mm. Uh, she took the child and placed the child in the upper room. Mm on the bed that she had made and prepared mm. for the man of God. Mm. The child was dead. She placed the child there. Mm. And as she went out to search for the man of God to release the word, to tell her, you don't mm. have a child. Mm. Mm. She encountered the man of God. The man of God asked her, how's everything? How's the child? She said, it's well. Mm. And then she brought him to the house to say, look, you release, you said something regarding your child. Mm, mm. You didn't say this. Mm. There's a problem now. That man of God was accountable based on the fact that he knows that he is the one who released the word and mm. he knows his God. Mm. What did he do? Did he get arrogant and say, Don't question me? No. He performed. Mm. He performed and brought the child back to life. Back to life. So I question any individual out there mm. who will become arrogant and say, why are you questioning me? It is what it is. I play my part. It's none of my business. No. I mean, first of all, why, 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 why would you have that, that kind of attitude anyway? For mm -hmm, what? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What for? Yeah. A lot of the times, it's these individuals who would ask you to sow money based on the word that they release, they'll yeah. take the money, they'll go. So their priority yeah, was, yeah, 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 yeah money, yeah, I'm gone. My money, yeah. All the rest yeah. doesn't involve me. Mm, mm. Where's the love? Where's the compassion? Mm. No common courtesy mm, at all. Mm, mm. No common courtesy. Yeah, yeah. There's a man who's preaching at a sermon. A great man, well learned, very well educated, anointed, preaching at a sermon. Um, mm. There was a few people in the sermon, and there was a man that was sitting by the window listening. The man started to get tired and fall asleep. He fell out the window, and he died. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The man who was preaching ran out, laid on top of him, prayed, mm. and the man came back to life. He yeah. could have said, "You know what? Yeah. That's what you get for falling. How, how can you fall asleep mm -hmm, with an important mm -hmm, message mm -hmm. like this is being preached? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't you have no respect for God? How mm -hmm. can you be falling asleep? Why are you sitting by the window?" Mm -hmm. Who sits by the window and falls asleep? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. He had it coming. Mm. No, he went and rose him back to life. Now, mm. it's very straightforward. You release a certain word. Me, I'll come and say, look, mm. things look nothing like what you said. Yeah. It doesn't. So help me to understand. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say, no, 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 it's supposed to be like this. No, no, no. Mm. Okay, this is what you said. Mm. This is what I prayed. Mm. But this is what's currently happening. Mm. Can we check with the source to find out mm. what exactly is happening? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did we go wrong somewhere? Mm. Did we misinterpret something at some point? Mm. Or is this a process that needs to go through before we get to the actual manifestation? Are we still on path? Are we still in line? Mm. with him mm. regarding this mm. can we check just to make sure that we are still with that there's nothing wrong with that you should be and mm -hmm. an individual who released mm -hmm. that word of you should be able to come in agreement with you and say mm -hmm. you know what let's ask again and mm -hmm. find out mm -hmm. what's happening mm -hmm. why not yeah yeah because you're helping someone else certain people mm -hmm. can lose their minds because they think like you know what? i put all my hope in god this was said I did this, but yet it didn't manifest. There's mm -hmm. people who have walked away from the faith because they felt abandoned yeah, by yeah. God mm -hmm. and by man mm -hmm. due to um, miscommunication or a lack of understanding. Yeah, yeah. So, people shouldn't be left in the dark. Mm. 
Because it's lack of knowledge that makes people perish. Yeah. As the book of Isaiah says. When mm-hmm. you've got the knowledge and the information, that's going to keep you going. Because mm-hmm. you know that, okay, I know right now it's the season looks dry. Mm-hmm. But I have the knowledge to know that mm-hmm. if I keep on going, mm-hmm. I'm going to get to my final destination. But mm-hmm. when you don't know, oh mm-hmm. my days, there's, oh, there's yeah, nothing yeah, worse yeah, than yeah, not knowing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Even yeah. if you have all the right tools, there's nothing mm-hmm. worse than not knowing what it's to true. do with those it's tools. True. Like, what's the point of having all of this if I don't mm-hmm. even know what to do? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm uncertainty is not a nice place to be in no, yeah? no, no, no. there's tests that you go through in life mm. where sometimes you will ask and he'll just show you the final destination mm. it's like uh, driving your car and you put on the navigation system mm. you're driving you're driving for hours and hours and hours and the streets are dark the lights are off mm. the navigator is not speaking to you all it tells you is final destination. It's silent. Mm. Only once you need to change direction, then it will speak to you. Mm. But as long as you're in the right direction at time, God is silent. Mm. He doesn't need to turn left or right because yeah, yeah, you're going yeah. the right way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going the right way. Mm-hmm. And get Germany. Mm. Jesus asks, but if it's possible, mm. let this cup pass over mm. me. He prayed, he pressed. Mm. In mm-hmm. the same man who used to tell a legion of demons, go. Mm. Mm. The one who was walking on water. Mm. The one who will heal people from miles away. Mm. Mm. The one who will touch a coffin and a child will be raised. That's right. The one who say Lazarus come forth. Mm. Mm. The one who will make demons tremble mm. just at his presence. Mm. The one who will touch eyes and is healed. The mm. same one was mm. in a place where he was troubled and said, look, is there another way? Mm. He pressed in hard. Mm. So desperate that he even asked his own creation to help him. Mm. Please wake up just an hour. He pressed in. Mm. What did he see? Nothing. Mm. What did he hear? Nothing. Mm. He went back in a second time again, prayed, pressed in. Mm. He said that his sweat was as thick mm. as blood. Mm. That's called president. He went and he asked his creation again, can you help me? There was mm, mm. He went back again a third time, pressed in. What did he hear? Nothing. What did he see? Nothing. That's right. Why did he see nothing? Mm. Because he was going the right, he was in he the, was right, the direction. right direction. Yeah. Yeah. He was in a perfect yeah. will. Yeah. He was in a perfect <laughs> he will. He was in a perfect will. It was tough, but he was mm. in a perfect will. Yeah. yeah so yeah. what happened was eventually an angel had to come mm-hmm. and strengthen him mm-hmm. so that he can stay yeah. in that same yeah. direction. Because in a few yeah. moments, Judas yeah. and them were coming, yeah. so he had to and, be strengthened. And, and that's why he said, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. my betrayers are coming, they're mm-hmm, on their way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At the right time, mm-hmm. and that says a lot about God. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that says a lot about God, that is, you, the prophetic will always manifest, but we always need, you know, if someone else has released the word, and you know the person, you have to check with the soul. So you can't yeah. be in an environment where, you see, and, and that's where, it is so dangerous, yeah? You mentioned the portals of the prophetic word. When you talk about the, the destiny that it carries, the destiny that attached to it, that's why it's so... When you get frustrated, and it happens, listen, I've done it before. When you get frustrated, you know, you now begin to look at other sources to give you a word. If you're mature, you, you know, you make it work for you. But there are some, they are, they are so desperate now. They now go everywhere, everywhere. where there's prophecies now. But they don't know, like you said, the magnitude of what does a prophetic word do. Yeah. They don't understand that. And that, that, that puts you more on, you know, that puts you more in danger. Mm. Because I'm going to church A. Okay, let's say for example, I'm going to church A. They give me, you know, prophetic word. Oh yeah, this is going to be blah, blah, blah. Oh, fine. I go to church B again. And then let's say church B, the prophet there, he sees, he receives a word of knowledge. Oh, okay, um... Oh, how many needs to fight? Oh, I, I see gambling there around you. But then, I don't have gambling no more. But that's the knowledge that you receive mm. that have come out of gambling. If you don't really understand, you can tell me that, oh, you have to be careful, you know, because that thing, you need to stop that. Yeah. You see, that can mess me up. Because that, look, that's what he saw. Even though I've seen what the other have seen, but maybe God showed him that, look, that's what the knowledge you receive. Maybe that's his level of, of uh, what's it called, experiencing the gift at the time. Yeah. Like, okay, you just come out of that. But for him, maybe okay, maybe he's still fighting him. And yeah. then I could receive it wrongly. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And then I go to another church again. They tell me that, oh, what's happened to your marriage? Oh, but I'm not married yet. So yeah. all of a sudden, oh, so, so all of a sudden, we, we become victim of, of chasing, chasing, chasing. Yeah. 
rather than chasing the you know like God and his peace, should I say, concerning our world. We now go everywhere looking for what just to satisfy our situation. But it's not about that. Yes, a prophecy when it comes to encourage you. There's no prophecy that comes to kill you or curse you. Understand that, you know, that is the purpose of prophetic word. So if somebody, you know, if a, a prophet, a man of God is saying that, you know, hey, listen, when I release the word, that is it. Then you have to question that person's character. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and on that, listen, you might not agree, you might, not, you might disagree, you are within your right. Not just to speak to God, but definitely to go and seek another source who is mature. You are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, you are, yes. you are, listen, you are 100% within your right, but make sure the source is mature. mature. Don't look for those, those guys who are just, who just happy that they will, they will get their prophecy and then you will sow and then you won't follow up. Look for a mature source which you could tell them, this is the situation. I won't even tell the man of God's name, but this is what's happening. You know, because of his character, like, it is not happening. Mm. And then he will speak to you based on the word of God. Not someone will tell you, ah, if that's the case, leave it to one unless God shows them, obviously. But he will counsel you based on the word of God. Mm -hmm. And obviously, whatever he gets downloaded from the Holy Spirit, he will tell you. Yeah. And then guess what? You are back on track. Yeah. You know, the best thing to do with the perfect word is that when you get desperate, try and get back on track. Yeah. But, but if you go and chase here, chase here, chase there, and you don't understand even, and you don't even study your word yet, that's going to bury you. Mm -hmm. And that's why there are many who have become victims of that. That's why I always say that when you look at the prophetic churches, and the world-based churches, the world-based churches have more people. Mm -hmm. Especially here in London where we live, the, the world-based churches, they have more people in terms of they have more uh, success, success rate. People are buying houses, people are getting mortgages, you know. Their, their children are even excelling. Why? Because they are, they are, they are taught on the world first. Yeah. But when it's just prophecy, prophecy, you have seen it. It's the same story. The pattern is the same. Mm. I'm sorry to say, you know, I mean, I'm even sorry because it's the same. It the same. pattern is the same. Yeah. You know, people testify because they managed to get a bill paid on time. The rent got paid on time and everything. Yeah, all those are good testimonies. But when it comes to life changing, in terms of us, you know, our, our true gift manifesting, we don't, we don't see that happening. No, they're not seeing it. And those guys, they know that as well. So they're not really interested in your growth. Because they don't want to, you know, even they prophesy to you, oh, I see you traveling, you're going to have a big job, you're going to be away. But they, they, they will know that to manifest because now I don't want to lose him. You know, I'll lose his money, I'll lose her money. So it's almost like, no, I've released it now, but at the same time, I'm going to sit on it. Or that thing that some of them will say, oh, God shows me so much about you, but I don't, I don't think I should tell you yeah. yet because you're going to get big headed. <laughs> Unless God tells you, hold the word, yeah. why are you holding it? Yeah, Especially word. if you have to manifest within a particular time. There wow, there's so much that God shows me, but I'm just holding it. Yeah. I don't want you to and, get excited. And why are you telling them that I see, but I'm not going to tell you? How about just not telling them? Oh, you're my leader, but you're my leader. You don't need prophecies from me. You're my leader. The all is falling on you. Oh! I'm your leader, but I've got a wife, I've got a <laughs> don't, 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 <laughs> don't want to have a family, children, don't want you know. No, you're my leader, the old, don't worry, the old will follow on you. So we get all those things that they, they, they've, they've made their own doctrine, if I, if I can say, out of it. So, and then, but how do you come out of, of such things? How do you come out? Yeah. Oh, uh, you come out, you see God, and ask God, look, God, do mm. I stay here or do I come out? Yeah, it's you simple, know, isn't it? Yeah. Do not, like, the, like um, my pastor Oscar Gobadi always said, do mm. not trade your treasure mm -hmm. for loyalty mm -hmm. never mm -hmm. do that mm -hmm. yeah, your destiny is important mm. yeah it's important mm. and people's lives depend on your destiny yeah, yeah so yeah. if you're not give, being fed the right food the mm. right vitamins where you're at mm. by all means get out there people, yeah. and leave yeah. Man. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah if you're taking in bad pollution smoking like get out of there it's gonna mm -hmm. end up killing you mm -hmm. don't stay there just out of loyalty it's better to be right it's better to be right and do the right thing for yourself like don't stay in an environment that's no longer gonna grow you you can't outgrow certain places and leaders out there once the people under you grow to a certain level mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's also credit to you so release them yeah and get yeah. them to expand or you move on and allow them to occupy mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. position that you previously said yeah, because what yeah. happens is they've upgraded and you also mm -hmm. upgraded now you can do mm -hmm. other things mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you can do mm -hmm. other things yeah. so and that's the same way um with parents as well like Mm. Accept the fact that your children are gonna grow up one day and leave. Don't yeah, try to yeah, hold them back and say, Yeah, but who's gonna do this for me? Yeah. Who's gonna do that for me? No, don't mm. do that, man. Mm. That's mm. stagnation, that's refusing mm. to allow them to grow. Mm -hmm. It's abuse, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah, it's yeah. abuse, it's manipulation. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. The, 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 there's a lot of Azure going to come on to that. Like, if you, if you can outgrow your family, you can definitely outgrow your church. There you go. You know, because they, they, they will always come to that stage. We told Abraham, get out. Look at what Abraham was. You see, exactly. get out of that familiar environment. Abraham never said, ah, why? But look here, man. Everything is going well for me here, man. I'm chilling here. He said, but the Lord, he said, he departed as the Lord told him. Where he's going, he said, I'm going to show you. Yeah. And that's the thing about the prophet. The prophetic word is mysterious. Mm. But <laughs> that's what comes with with directions, mm -hmm. you know, but okay, let me ask you, okay, we close soon, now, this, uh, now, the topic of marriage, that, that you know, it's, it's a sensitive and controversial topic, you know, prophetic, you know, there are some, obviously there are, some who say, now, nah, um, God cannot ordain marriages, you know, you, you have, you could have somebody present them to God, and God can tell you yes, God can tell you no, or there are some situations where some said, you know what, God will be like, yeah, your wife will be in that area, that community, because of what I want to do with you. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many, you know, again, it's understandable for people to have different opinions. We have seen cases, different cases, you know what I'm saying, you know, people can relocate and stuff like that. Okay, now, in the case where, you know, let's say you have somebody, you have somebody, I have somebody, and then um, I bring them to a man of God and this is the person I want to be with, you know, and then, Person, well, okay, God, okay, God has agreed that this is the one for you. Again, the source has to be very, very important, also. Yeah. yeah, okay, let's talk about if it's a right source. Yeah, okay, God has said, yeah, God has said, yes, used to because you know this is what He wants to do with you. This is not just an individual now, this is two now. This is what God wants to do with you that if you stay with this woman, if you stay with that man, you guys can go far, mm -hmm. especially if how God wants to use you because she's good at this and he's good at that. Mm -hmm. Now, People's expectations now. You, you guys have received the word. Now let's say her friends or her family are like, ah, you gonna be with this guy? Are you sure? Yeah, but God, you know, but look at his situation. Look at your situation. You guys are not even the same. Mm -hmm. So no, you cannot be with him. If, in fact, we can't accept such a person in our family. Yeah. And they go to church, by the way. But she said, yeah, but God said that this is what can come out of us. The pressure, people's expectation, mm. the pressure, and then all of a sudden she goes. Yeah. Now, with that happening, are you within your right to go back to God and be like, God, this is what you spoke. Mm -hmm. This is what you spoke. Her family had told me to leave me, or his family said, they're not for me. Or, I don't know, he has seen some ex somewhere, and then, he, you know, he's, he, he now wants to leave me. Or, you know... Or worse, let me give another scenario. I'll, I'll let you answer that one. I'll let, I'll let you answer that one. You know, why, why, why are you within your right to go back to God and be like, God, like, what has happened? And remember, you said earlier that every word that God speaks, he has to manifest because it's his purpose. Mm -hmm. What happens then when I want to marry someone, but people's expectation, they manage to influence me to break up with the person or the person to not break up with me people's expectations because they be like no you guys are not on the same level mm. even though god has told that yeah he might not be there yet but this is what i'm going to make of him mm. and so that you guys will grow what happens then when my you know, my marital prophecy does not manifest does it mean that it wasn't the perfect will of god does god have someone better for me what happens then how do i go back to god then and tell him that did you lie to me? Or was she deceived by them? Yeah. Whose fault is it? Yeah. Now with me personally, like, because of the type of person I am, if God says something, and mm -hmm. I agree with God, what the family says or doesn't say, mm -hmm. doesn't affect me at all. That's me. Mm -hmm. um, I will always take it to God. And I'll treat it in the same way that I would if I started a business. Mm -hmm. Does my family agree with it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They might have good intentions, but they might not necessarily be right. So in the same way, uh, if they say, for example, my mother recommended a certain female for me. Mm. If, I don't, if I'm not into that female, I'm not into them. Sorry. Mm. If I don't see myself being with them, I don't see it. Mm. I don't see it. And that don't mean that I'm disrespecting my mother. Um, some family members may get offended because of traditional ways. Mm. In our culture, we do this in our culture, what the family says can. In our culture, if you get married, you get married to the family. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We 
we must have access. We have the keys to the household. Marriage is two people coming mm -hmm. together to form a third family. Mm. It's not two families getting married. Mm. If both families get along, great. If the two families don't get along, it may be tough. However, focus on the purpose because marriage in itself is a ministry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's the purpose of you and that individual being together? What has God said concerning you two about mm. your marriage? What did God say he's going to do with your marriage? Yeah. And whenever God plans to do something, there's always opposition. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Possibly. There's always opposition. Mm, mm. Always. Mm. Whether it's internally or externally, there's mm. always going to be opposition. So if you can't stand that first test of standing up to your family, how are you going to deal with the bigger test that comes mm. when you go global, mm. internationally, nationally? Because we yeah, see the family as the biggest obstacle. Yeah, the biggest That's obstacle. the thing. Yeah. We see that as, yeah, as, the, as the giant obstacle. But while, while God said, yeah, God that. That says, what? You, should, you will not have no other God except worship no other God. So anything that you prioritize above God, mm. you've made it your God. So who do you worship? Your family, some people do worship their families. Yeah, because some will tell you that now, but you don't do that with the family, the family has to agree. Some people will tell you yeah, that. Based if my family don't say yes, yes, yes. it doesn't matter right. what God says or what okay, even you show your dreams. There you go. So then that shows what your priority is. That shows who your, your mm. actual God is. Mm. Your God is family. Man, mm. Jehovah. Mm. Simple as that. So you guys claim Jehovah, claim Jesus, but when mm. it really matters the most, mm. you really show who mm. you worship. You you worship your tradition. Mm. That's what you worship your tradition. In our tradition, I mean, who started that tradition? Mm. Who? Mm. And what's the purpose of that tradition of mm. keeping things one way and one way on? Mm. If God said this, this is what I'm going with. It don't make sense. It don't look like I'm ready for it. It don't look like I've got what it takes. Mm. But I'm going to go for it. Mm. I'm going to do it. Mm. Yeah. Moses was sent to a nation, a great nation called Egypt, and he told him, don't go to the soldiers, go directly to the throne, to the man in charge, and tell him this. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, there's people that were out there, there was a bounty on Moses' head to mm -hmm. kill him. To kill him, yeah. No, no, he goes, the people that saw him, they, they're dead. Yeah, but I, I start, I, I've already spoken to your brother, Aaron. Mm -hmm. He's going to be your mouthpiece. Yeah, but I don't have anything. Take that stuff from the ground. Mm. Okay, you see what you can do. Yeah, but okay, take your hand, put it in your sleeves. Okay, what's your excuse now? Make sure you, you've got no excuses. Mm. Go. It's frightening. You're going to a whole nation. Mm. Could have been the greatest nation, kingdom on the planet at that particular time, possibly. But you have to go to the man in charge and tell him, look, the audacity. What? How do you even get to the front room mm -hmm. without getting your head chopped off? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How? Mm. But you're not telling, okay, go to the guards, mobilize a group of people, plan this, tell the people on the outer gates to do this, and that, and private certain soldier. No, no, he said, you go to Pharaoh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he said, I will make you as Elohim in the presence of Pharaoh. That's mm -hmm. what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Elohim is. Father, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Son, oh God. Oh and Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm, yeah? mm -hmm. The Godhead. I will, when you're standing there, it's, I will make it seem as if the whole Godhead is there yeah. when you're speaking to yeah, Pharaoh. Yeah, yeah. Because Pharaoh, even though he's a human being, but he is backed by some spiritual entities. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Territorial. Mm -hmm. He's backed by it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you, you're not going there unequipped. No, you can't. Yeah. You're not going to go there and equip, but I, I, mean, I, I'm going to hard, I'm going to allow him to be stubborn. So when he said, I will harden his heart, I'm mm. going to allow him to be stubborn, yeah? But I will make you as Elohim in his presence. Mm. So what you're trying to say is that mm. even in marriage, God sees purpose as well. And that purpose could be, even if the family tradition is so thick, but you, the individual, because you are born again, you got my representative in your family, and if you stick to it, they're going to be so intimidated, they will leave you alone, and then you will start a new trend. Mm. Is, that, is that, yeah. Yeah, you're going to start a new trend, and really and truly, how you know God is not using you to break the family out of their tradition? Those family members, God's created them as well, with a purpose. But then they'll be like, but they said, I'm dishonoring them, 
if I follow that path. And the way, okay. when some people they hear the word dishonor, especially the woman when they hear the word dishonor, you dishonoring us. Nah, nah, that's it. Okay. The pressure there was in it. Okay. Yeah. Pause. Now, how are we supposed to honor? Mm. I honor you based on your right standing mm. with the one who commissioned the commandment of honor. So if you're not in right standing with him, I'm not honoring what you do. I'll honor you as my parents. Yeah? Mm. Honor and obedience, two different things. Mm. I won't cuss you out. I'm not going to call you by your first name. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My body language isn't going to be rude. I'm not going to throw uh, ashtrays at you. Mm. I'll honor you. I say, you know what? With all due respect, uh, I'm not going to do that. I've chosen to follow the one who told me mm. to honor you guys. So you guys are asking for honor. Yeah. But that person who commanded that I honor you, that's who I'm listening to. Mm. So if you guys choose to disobey him, mm. then you guys need to question yourselves. And you guys shouldn't, I'm going to honor you, but you guys should not demand honor from me. Mm. Because you don't even respect the one who asks mm. to honor. If God says this, who are you guys to stand in the way of what God says? Mm. Yeah. That's my perspective. However, I say that you should still uh, persist and overcome that because by overcoming that, what's going to happen is if you follow what God says, God's going to do what he said concerning your marriage. And these people who were once opposed in that, they will see that you know what? God's hand is actually on them and they will come to Christ. So sometimes obstacles are there to really just refine you and help you. Yeah. Joseph, God spoke to Joseph, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Was his family in support of the vision? No, absolutely not. Including mm -hmm. his father. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What did they do to him? They made sure that they mm -hmm. took him out. They wanted to kill him. Mm -hmm. They wanted to kill him. Then mm -hmm. they said, no, let's not kill him. Mm -hmm. Let's sell him. They, mm -hmm. got, they made sure we got rid of him. Mm -hmm. That was all part of God's plan. And had Joseph listened to them and not done it, what would have been the fate mm. of the children of Israel? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They would have died, died mm -hmm. in Canaan. Because mm -hmm. there was a drought there. Mm -hmm. There was famine. God used the vision inside this young 17-year-old boy to take him somewhere. Joseph followed that. Potiphar's house. He was in charge. He was lied on, put in jail for 12 years. He was in charge from jail to the palace, to prime minister. And then the ones who opposed him came and they had to submit to him. He helped them. And where they came to, that's where they grew, flourished and multiplied. And then they came out there rich overnight to go back into the promised land. Mm. So what I'll ask is Who is this man or woman? Mm. What is this tradition, family mm. tradition mm. That outweighs the voice of God mm. That outweighs the purpose of God I don't know Yeah. I don't know If it's non-believers, fine Their tradition is the way However, I still choose Mm. But if you're believers, but then you're deciding to put tradition above your, like, make up your mind. Mm. What do you really believe in? Believe in? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your traditions or what the Word of God says? Mm -hmm. Me, personally, this is what I choose. <laughs> like, did you like her? Okay, cool, you like her. You don't? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. She's not going to lose a long word of her. You like her? Okay, cool, no problem. You don't? Nah, you're 50-50, that's totally fine. Be 50-50, be 90-10. It don't matter. Um, the date is going to be on this particular <laughs> day. Um, it's going to be fly. Yeah. It's going to be fly. I'm going to do this. Yeah. I'm going to have kids. I'm going to have children and that. So, thank you. Yeah, but well, okay. So, 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 what happens then? You know, when, let's say, her, her, fa her family influences her <laughs> and then she's like, nah, I don't, think, I don't think I can do this, man. I don't think I can do this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's okay. Mm. I just want to go. Then, what do who has failed them? Has God failed the one who said yes, or have I failed by giving up? Can I say, I, I said, God, you know what? She wants to go, and hey, 
I don't I don't see a way back. So can I release can you release me to go and look for somebody else? Because if you truly say you have you have the purpose then, like you said earlier, it needs man's also man's core partic participation. Mm. So does that mean that if then I so can join, you can go back and I meet somebody else then? That is, is a new purpose going to be created or would it have been the same purpose? Surely it can't have been the same purpose then. So that's what I'm saying then. Who is our fault and to have the right to go back to God and be like, God, I don't want to hang on. You have given me free will. Mm -hmm. She's exercised her free will. Do I continue and look like an idiot? Mm -hmm. Again, people's perception. Yeah. People's perception. But what if God says, ah, well, Continue. <laughs> but people are saying, Herman, her family has taken that. She has said she wants to listen to her family. What are you doing? So yeah, me versus me. Yeah. This is people's yeah, opinions. Yeah, yeah, you're doing what God told you to do. That's what you're doing. What God told you to do. But it's not easy. But no, it's never easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. Yeah, but we don't want to look silly, do you know what I'm saying? Okay. Time so see, when you don't want to look silly and you mm -hmm. prioritize that, you've made yourself a God. Once the focus comes off, yeah, mm -hmm. Peter was walking on water as long as he focused on Jesus. But mm -hmm. once the focus came off, what happened? Mm -hmm. He started to sink. Mm -hmm. That's what happens in life. When we start to focus on what people's opinions is. But at least I won't be ridiculed, innit? Because uh -huh. now I've at least I won't be ridiculed anymore, innit? Because I've chosen peace. Because some people, some people that they love their peace. There you go. They'd be like, you know what, at least I mean Jesus peace. Than going... What would happen to you if mm -hmm. Jesus chose yeah. not to be ridiculed? Yeah. Where would you be today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He chose chose not to be ridiculed when <laughs> Jesus' family. Where would you be today? Mm -hmm. If Abraham chose not to be ridiculed, they told him, come out, you're going somewhere. Where? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Where are you going, Abraham? And dad's like, where, where are you going? <laughs> somewhere. Who spoke to you? God. What? Mm -hmm. You're taking everything, you're just going to go. Mm -hmm. You could have ridiculed him. Mm -hmm. Nehemiah was building the walls, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Was he being ridiculed? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're building this? No, so even if a fox just jumps over, mm -hmm. it will fall. Mm -hmm. You'll be ridiculed. It happens. You're going you're gonna to be like, look, the moment you signed up to this faith, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. one of the modules, main modules, which are multiple modules, is ridiculed. <laughs> it's yeah. ridiculed. You're, you're, you're going you're, to no, you're going to be ridiculed. Mm. Oh, but I thought you said God told you. You're going to get that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's several assignments and dissertations that you're going to write regarding that. But I thought God said, Mm. Didn't you say that God said? Mm. Didn't you say you had a dream? Didn't you say that that man of God said? Didn't you say that you believed that? What happened? You're gonna get that. Mm. Mm. Hmm? Jesus yeah. had that at the cross, but oh, isn't this the? Mm. But but why don't you save yourself? Mm. The disciples were scattered. Oh, they deserve. Man. Yeah, they deserve. <laughs> yeah. Cause a lot of people wanna ask him, but I thought you guys said that this mm. was the what happened. Even though you told them, like, I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah. But they were gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one who stood by was mm. Johnny mm. and the women. Mm. Johnny and the women. So you have to choose now. Now, even say, you know what, God, she's choosing this. and that. I'm not God. So you got to ask yourself, did God make a mistake when he gave you the green light? Uh-huh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Did that's he make a mistake? I'm going to ask, yeah. Um, was that... But, oh, was but, it just because that she's the one I was with at the time? So that's why God approved it because he didn't want me to go sleeping around or go just okay. as a woman. Is that is that what it is? Then okay. you know what I'm saying. So if God it was His will. Okay, approval but, for approval for dating or for marriage. For marriage, I'm thinking about for marriage. Okay, then that's yeah. for marriage. Then if you say for God, marriage. then that means you divorce. God hates divorce. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then, but we are not married yet. Okay. So God is going to just entertain the thought of marrying someone just to say no. Mm -hmm. really. But what, what is there to approve in that? Yeah, to say, okay, she's a godly woman, she's good. Okay, maybe, maybe to some people, th this is just people's opinion. Yeah. Maybe somebody will say, well, this one is not like maybe someone else I heard that with, with that person, God said, you're going to marry her before even went to as soon as them, God said, you guys, you're not going to marry, you're going to marry. So maybe with my one, because she's the one I was with at the time, we'll be right back. So, 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 maybe, so maybe with my one, yeah, God, God would ask, God said, okay then, it's not, I'm not saying God said, but go for okay, okay, it's not something that I ordain, but you guys are together, so I'm ordaining it, not something that I ordained before. Okay, I'm ordaining what? 
You got to marry. I'm here. I'll see you can marry her. Okay. When God says I ordain, what does it mean to be ordained? It means he has put his stamp of approval, he has approved it, he has sent now. Okay. Stamp you are of sent, approval. Yeah, you have now been sent. Yeah. So stamp of approval yeah. to do what? To do the, the, the ministry I sent you for, the okay. assignment he has sent you for. Come in, D. So he's approved that mm -hmm. it's signed and sealed. So once he yeah. gives you a document, mm -hmm. yeah. So what's the difference between a king who stamps a decree mm -hmm. to say do this? Mm -hmm. What's the difference between when God says release a prophecy and says this, and God saying I approve you to be with that person? Mm -hmm. Is he saying temporary so that you guys can break up, or is he saying what what you asked him for marriage? Yeah, the mm -hmm. big picture. Mm -hmm. So he's approved that big picture. Mm -hmm. So why do you then come and say, well, she said. Yeah, because if God's approved it, mm -hmm. stick to God's approval. Yeah, but they will say if God approves something, mm -hmm. do you face resistance? Yes. yes. Mm. Is that resistance? Yes. Mm -hmm. As a believer, are you supposed to give in to the resistance? Mm. But see, they, they will say that. But Patrick, okay. this is what marriage, though. Say? Yeah, what, but, what like, this God, is marriage. What did God say? Yeah, but they, they, they are two now, so it's not just about me. That's what they will say. It's about that. The person has to say yes as well. So if the person okay. is is no. being influenced or is thinking no, that I can't okay. do this. Okay, hold on. Yeah, where that, do I that's go? God, that's God know mm -hmm. whether that person will say yes or no. You spoke about free will earlier. Yeah, well, no, yeah. Does yeah. God know? Does he know? Does oh, he, yeah, he knows he everything. Knows. He now, knows everything. is he going to approve you in a situation that's going to make you look stupid? Is he going to approve you to be with someone who will then turn you down? If he mm -hmm. does, then you can blame me and say that he plays mind games. He doesn't. So, so, so yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, but that's what I ask you then. Two you need to the agree. Right. In, in agreement, mm -hmm. in marriage, he created marriage, so he knows that yeah. marriage, the two need to agree. Yeah. So if he's approved something, it's because he knows that mm. this person is compatible with you and will agree. Not like, okay, I'm approving. No, this is why he, he will never do this. Okay, yeah, cool. However, if she says no, then I'm not involved. No, he doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because then it, that means that he's in the business of making people look stupid. Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of going to him and asking him? Why not just do that yourself and check whether or not the person can say yes or not? Like, there's got to be a difference between believers and unbelievers. There's got to be benefits in believing in God and those who don't believe in God. Sure. There has to be because then what's the difference between you in marriage and a non-believer in marriage? Mm. When you both go through the same thing. Oh, I was married with her but then a week before the marriage it just collapsed and fell apart and I left. There's got to be a difference. Otherwise, what's the point? Our brain about the situation. Why not just go and do it yourself and not get God involved? It also that that way, if it breaks apart, you'll be like, oh well, my family said no. If He approves something, if He approves you to become a businessman, a prophet, and whatnot, are, about are you then gonna go and apply for a job and be like, okay, well, uh, the the interview <laughs> said I'm not good enough for it. Yeah, but this is where I mean, you you rightly said, but this is where believers will come and be like, well. This is, these are two people now. Yeah. So if exactly so, if she decides that like, no, this not this same for me because my family are looking at you like you're not compatible for me, why should I not go and chase her? Or why should she not go and chase him when the no has been released? So will God blame me if I go to God and be like God? Can you release me to go and be if you want to go on my merry way? That's fine. If you want to go, uh -huh. it's and, and choose yeah, yeah. to not be in God's will anymore. Mm -hmm. you no, <laughs> see, that was uh -huh. it's, not, it's not just to be in God's will because it will still give me a blessed marriage. Because I mean, I look at the situation, okay. God, it's not me. She ran or he ran away. Now I want to do your will. Okay, but with somebody no. else now. Here's the thing though you can ask him about that, or you can just say, you know, I don't want nothing to do with this anymore. Mm -hmm. You can. Yeah. yeah. If he approved it, he knew that there was a solution. There's a resolution to that. He knew it. Otherwise, he wouldn't have approved it. There's always going to be challenges. Challenges. Always going to be challenges. Yeah? Did Moses' family approve of his wife? Mm. Did they? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't. That's right. That's right. Did he give in and say, okay, God, my family don't like my wife? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. So you've got to choose. You're going to face obstacles. You're going to face obstacles. It's, it's, it's that simple. If it's worth having, it's worth fighting for. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, okay, and I mean to close, I mean prophecy is different when it comes, well, when it comes to marriage, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a whole, it's a whole, uh, how do I say, it, it, it's, it's a whole new ball game because obviously it's, it's about, it's bringing somebody else in and mm -hmm. people's opinion are going to matter a lot, well, when I say matter, well, yeah, they're going to matter, they're going to matter because 
you choose to listen or not to listen to, but everyone's going to have their peace mm -hmm. because you're not trying to bring somebody else or somebody else trying to come into your life. So those voices, those voices, those voices, it, it can influence one way or the other. But as you mentioned earlier, you know, the prophetic word, it carries provision, it carries resources. Like you said, it carries ridicule, frustration, but if God has spoken it, we use the example of the rain and the snow, it's that 55. As long as the rain comes down, it's going to give seed to the sower, bread to the eater. Mm -hmm. The same with the snow. And he says, so it is with my word. Mm -hmm. So I think we have to always remember that and, and you know, go to war with it and use that as a point of reference. Yeah. You know? However, I, I, I still believe, not even I still believe, it's still evident. No, <laughs> the, no, no. The, the when it comes to, to, to marriage, we're not really using that. A lot of believers are not using that. We're just going off our... Uh, Nah, I don't fear him, I don't fear her, or their, their family don't fear me, so yeah. I'm gone. Because, especially in our, let's say in our tradition, yeah, sorry guys, let me just use the African tradition, yeah. You know how some of our parents, they're like, oh, even, they make, okay, the most wrong statement I've ever heard in my whole life, oh, your parents are like gods on earth. Some Christians actually believe that, mm -hmm. and that's how some, mar Christian, some marriages get stopped. Yeah, it's manipulation, that's what it is. So then what, okay, so what does God do then if I give up? Just, so what does God do then if I give up on a marital prophecy? How, how does he hold me accountable? How would he hold me accountable? Yeah, you'll have to ask him that. He's mm. going to have to tell you that. Mm. Mm. If you give up and you say no. Like, he'll, I believe he'll encourage you up to a certain extent, but then mm. he gets to a point where he'll say, no, mm. you chose not. He'll find someone else. Mm. Oh, so someone else is in someone else where? No, he. No, <laughs> For me, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was gonna come back to No, no, no. <laughs> you are giving up, mm -hmm. yeah, on something that he provided for you, yeah. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, when he speaks his word, his word contains all the provisions and all the tools that you need to accomplish his purpose within your union. So it's, it's, it's not about me. You, you say yes. It's not about her. But it's about what the ministry will do for mm -hmm. his big purpose. Mm -hmm. So if you choose not to be a part of that purpose of his, he will find someone who is available to complete his purpose. <laughs> so basically, it's just he's going to push me out of the way. No, he's not pushing you. You gave up. <laughs> he's not pushing you out. He, he stamped his approval. You came back to him and said, you know what? Take your approval back. What do you want him to do? He's not going to force you. He wants someone who's willing. Willing, like he that he stands at the door and he knocks. Mm -hmm. If you hear me, I will come in. Mm -hmm. But if you give back to him, say, you know what, I don't want this. What do you expect him to do? Mm -hmm. We need to do a Q and A on this, you know. Yeah, let's we do a Q and A. Q &A. Q &A yeah. on this. Well, it's yeah. a mentality. If you want to come to tradition and all these things, it's about mentality. So people's mentality and how they've been brought up is that family tradition outweighs everything else. Okay, it's God, God, God until the family says so, and then they listen to it. Mm -hmm. That's why it's about reconditioning the mind. Jesus' first public statement when he started his ministry publicly was repent. He was dealing with the mind. Change ah. your mind, renew the mind because mm -hmm. the kingdom of heaven, the governing influence of heaven is here and it's going to require the renewed state of mind in you know, order mm -hmm. for you to grasp what I'm saying, learn it, understand it and apply it. If you don't and you're, you're traditional, you're not going to be able to uh, benefit from it. And the Pharisees and the scribes and a lot of them were very traditional in their ways with the custom, with the religious ways. And that's why they clashed with the kingdom. Mm -hmm. The Romans didn't at the time. It was the Pharisees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that, 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 that wraps up for today. And I believe you mentioned about the renewing of the mind and you mentioned earlier about the prophetic word, what it carries, what it carries, what it carries. If a man is not renewed, you will never understand mm -hmm. the totality of the prophetic word, what it's supposed to do. You will never ever understand it. So you will never, you will never fully understand it, you know. But just know that the prophetic word is, is for God's purpose to be carried. That is not for you to stay excited without working on it, no matter what it is. Because when God sends his word, you have to believe. We spoke about Abraham. Abraham had to believe. He had to walk in obedience. Yeah. He had to live his, 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 fam, you know, his familiar, familiar ground in obedience. It's the same thing. The prophet will take us out of our you know, normal, normal routine. Mm -hmm. You mentioned a pregnant woman. The thing she does when she's pregnant. You know, and that's what the prophet will does. He just pushes us out. People are going to laugh, ridicule you. But at the end of the day, his purpose has to come to pass. Mm -hmm. you know? So we hope you guys have enjoyed the program. And we definitely do a Q&A. On the last segment of the show, prophecy and marriage, definitely. So look out for that. God bless. God bless.
Have a great weekend. Hey, how are you?